Hey guys, Gabriel from Renegade Blasters here. Today we're going to be looking at one of the most highly anticipated guns to be released this year. A very, very popular and in very high demand, the G36C. Now as you can see, it's... Um, actually, I don't know if you can see, but what I know straight away after taking this out of the box is it just looks solid. Um, and you really notice that when you... When you get your hands on it, I mean, this thing is heavy. It's solid. It's it. Everything is thick. You know, everything about it is just crazy solid. It even sounds solid. You know, uh, and I've heard it performs quite well as well. So, very excited to to have a look at this and see how it performs. Uh, looks wise. Look, it doesn't look bad. Uh, personally, I think it would have looked better in, in black. But, you know, this is uh, new as well. This is interesting. Definitely something different. Some, you know, might be one of those love-hate things where some people really love it, some people really dislike it, but I think the performance will make up for that anyway. So it does have a, a foldable stock. Folds back on itself locks in so very easy to maneuver uh, you got your iron sights just built into it not an attachment like in other models um, and it uses a 7.4 volt uh, lithium battery I'm pretty sure but let's see what comes with it before we go any further so it comes with your battery your ammo 10,000 pack and a smaller pack of some sort, 1,000 pack, uh, your battery charger down there, safety glasses, and your mag, which in this case is actually pretty cool, it's, it's see-through, so you can see your ammo, you know, drop down and get loaded up, so the mechanism get pushed up into the uh, firing chamber. Now... What I have heard is that these will perform really well with a 7.4 LiPo or something around there, similar to this. But as soon as you put a 11 volt, it just can't keep up. So there's something to keep in mind. You might be able to get it working with some, some modifications. But from what I've seen and heard, they just don't perform. Um, you know, they'll fire too fast for the, for the ammo to be loaded. Um, <clears throat> they also come with... Uh, a ball, uh, gel ball bottle, and it comes already ready to fire, already expanded. So we'll uh, we'll put this thing together. That slides in nice and easy, unclips nice and easy as well. Very nice. It's also got uh, these things on there where you can clip another mag of the same sort. So on the other side. It not just like that and you can attach another mag to this so you can have two of them side by side you can just rotate it or move it over and connect it up uh, and that's pretty cool especially out in the field uh, it's got a full fire auto fire full auto semi auto and off now I haven't tested that we'll see what that's like <clears throat> one thing that I do notice about this is the trigger it's got a nice amount of feedback so it's got a good spring in it um, you can you can really feel it you know you can really feel that sensitivity or that that force which is nice a lot of them are really just weak and just move very easily whereas this one's got a bit of feedback so the battery goes in in here now I haven't connected a battery to these yet so we'll see how easy that can be there's plenty of space for it. Oh, that looks very easy. And done. There we go. So that's now ready to go. It does have it does have that. Now I'm not sure if that's just to see inside or if that primes anything or if that does anything. But we will see. We'll figure that out. We'll see if uh, it 
actually performs now in uh, in full fire and semi auto. So that's off. Oh, very nice! Look at that. And full. There you go. Now I will mention this has got a bit of weight to it. If you haven't realized that already, it's it's built very very well. I mean, it's very thick construction. Um, and it's, it's got a lot of weight right around here, right in the center. So it's it's good weight balance. Uh, compared to other blasters, it does feel heavy, but you kind of want that. But this just feels like the kind of thing that can, can get run over by a truck, you know, and, uh, and will survive. It's just that solid. That's pretty cool. So uh, we'll put some ammo in it now. Take it down to our range and we'll see how it performs. Now to load the ammo in the clip, you got this little slide back part, but that's that's all it opens unfortunately. So it's it's not too big. If you have a, a proper bottle to fill it up, it wouldn't make it too bad. But in this case, you might lose a few. Still not too bad. There we go. So that's all loaded. We'll see how it performs. There we go. That doesn't seem to do anything. But, oh, but it is different. I'll have to find out more about that. I'm not sure what exactly that's for, but there we are. I don't see any prime, any priming button or mechanism. So we'll fire and uh, See how it goes. Now we are 20 meters away. That's our makeshift uh, target and our range here in the backyard. So we'll see if it makes a distance and how accurate it is and just the overall feel for it. Here we go, guys. Might take a bit till it gets primed. There we go. Well, that fires very nicely. As you can see, I mean, it makes a distance very easily. The ammo actually kind of spins upward or curves a little bit upwards as it as it goes further and further uh, which is different to some of the other ones that tend to dip this kind of flies up so that's cool definitely makes the distance um, accuracy is not in not you know I mean it's single fire so uh, it tends to move a little bit between shots. Uh, we'll see how it goes now with, with full auto. So a little bit all over the place. There is, by the time it gets to the target, there is about one, one and a half foot variation in it. Which still isn't too bad for the distance, I guess, and, and for a stock unit. Um, it does make it there. It does hit the target. It'll just kind of spray them out over, over one foot or so. So there you go. I do think that it would perform a lot better with a few minor upgrades, as they usually do. But straight out of the box, I have to say, this thing is a beast. Um, if you like the color scheme and you like the way it looks, this is definitely a one to get. Um, and it's, it's just got so much potential. You can, you can feel that it's got potential right out of the box. And it feels awesome. Uh, we, Bear with me now, we'll just run it through a chronograph and see how it how it performs FPS wise. One thing that I don't like about this, if I must say, you got this switch here, but you've also got it on the other side. And that kind of gets in the way of your finger a lot if you're 
if you know you're holding it and you're shooting that it's kind of rubbing up against your finger there so not the biggest fan of that although it might be easy because you can I mean you've used your thumb on this side anyway so I'm not sure what the purpose of that is but it's it's neither here nor there okay so here's our chronograph Two thirty one, two thirty, two oh one, oh, right, Emma, two thirty one. So the, there you go, around two thirty mark. Um, not bad. I mean, the M four A one was getting two fifty straight out of the box. This two thirty. But I think the distance is a little bit better on this. Uh, accuracy, not quite as good as the M4A1, but that's, you know, that's what you get. You get variations with all of them. They're all slightly different. And this one is definitely different. Compared to what's out at the moment, uh, this one definitely stands out. I was actually at an at a outdoor uh, skirmish game yesterday with, uh, with some real serious enthusiasts. And they had some of these, and, I mean, they were modded up. They looked... They look beasty, and they perform really, really well. So if you're into that kind of thing, and you want some options, you want some room for upgrades, that might be the one for you. The G36C. There you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like and share. And we'll be back next time with some more reviews on the latest updates uh, from the Gel Blaster toy gun community. That's Gabriel from Renegade Blasters. Thanks for watching. Bye.